organic forms. They look so simple, yet so complex. How do we draw them consistently? I mean, how do we go from this and achieve this? Well, in today's video, we'll find out. Hey art leads, welcome to the Artwork channel, the program where we train our creative muscles on a daily basis. Whether you want to become a full-blown professional concept artist or a hobbyist artist keen on drawing your favorite fictional characters, chances are you'll have to master some organic form drawing. Drawing organic forms is fairly easy. Just draw a random 2D shape and add some contour lines to them and voila, organic form. Although this is fun practicing contour lines, it won't actually help us understand organic forms in 3D space. For that, we need to consider our simple forms again, spheres, cubes, cylinders, and cones. And we need to master the following forms of manipulation, bending, stretch and squatch, and contour manipulation. Now, if you want to know more about these manipulations in detail, make sure to watch our beginner courses on artwad.com. Let's take a cylinder and apply some of these manipulations. First, we'll bend it, which essentially means we are bending the minor axis. Then, we'll stretch the contour a little and keep the bend. Already, this is looking quite organic. Lastly, we'll manipulate the contour a little to create some asymmetry. And as you can see, we now have a fairly organic looking form that was constructed out of a cylinder using some simple manipulation principles. Now, sometimes we can have some really funky looking forms, and it might be hard to understand how this form was constructed. Luckily, we can rely on a box to help us. If you've completed our cylinder lesson of the beginner course, you will know that we can create a cylinder using a box, meaning that a circle projected on a plane in space connected to another circle projected on a plane in space can form a cylinder. And this cylinder is made up of many, many circles projected on planes in space. So you get the idea. Well, in a very organic form like this, it isn't any different. It's just an organic contour projected on several planes tilted at various angles in space. And once you understand this, you will have an easier time understanding reference and using reference to your advantage. So say we want to draw this Blurg from the Mandalorian. We should first understand its proportions. Looking at this creature from the side, we could identify three simple forms. Half a sphere for the head, a cylinder for the body, and another cylinder for the tail. Then two cylinders can make up the legs and another two for the arms. Basically, very simple form. Now we draw these forms in space with the proportions we have established. Immediately, we can see there's a need to manipulate some of these forms in order to achieve the Blurk aesthetic. Let's squash the sphere of the head, cylinder of the body, and bend and squash the tail. Same for the legs, and we can start to see a resemblance of our Blurk. Lastly, we should manipulate our contour a little around the top to suggest a narrow spine and maybe a little wider at the bottom for the belly and the jaw. Add some detail based on what we see in the reference, and voila, Blurg's your uncle. So, as you can see, organic forms aren't that hard once you understand how to interpret them and know how to manipulate form in space. And to learn just that, you should complete our beginner drawing course at artwad.com. This course will maximize your form understanding and accelerate your imaginative drawing skills. So be sure to visit our website and enjoy discounts up to 45% right now on our yearly plans. All right, happy learning, art leads.